In this video, you are going to learn how to create this high quality website design from scratch without writing even a single line of code. We will be creating multiple pages, something like this amazing pricing page, this about us page and this book a demo page. All of this we are going to develop inside cursor and yes, you won't have to write even a single line of code because AI will write code for you. This is an absolutely beginner friendly tutorial. So if you are a completely non-technical person without any understanding about code, I will give you a very detailed step by step beginner friendly guide. By the end of this video, you will be able to create any sort of website from scratch. I have provided the source code of this website. The link is in description. So if you just want to use this design, you can use that absolutely for free. For hosting, you can use this fastest and cheapest hosting for $1.99 per month only. It will give you two months for free you can just use this link in description of this video and it will give you 85 percent off normal price of this hosting is around 13 dollars per month but by using this link in description you will get 85 percent off you can host up to 100 website it will give you a free domain as well it will give you 100 gps of ssd storage and you can actually buy this plan for four years at this price normally this four years of hosting will cost you around 623 pounds which is around 770 dollars but by using this link you'll get this hosting for four years for only 76 pounds which is like 88 percent of this Account and you'll be saving like $630. You'll get this amazingly fast hosting for 48 months. And of course, a free domain as well, free email and free SSL certificate. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Our goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers before 30th of June 2025. Now to start, you need to have a reference design and to have a reference design, you can use something like Webflow or something like Figma. So on Webflow, uh, Webflow is actually a platform. It's a web design platform. So you can actually find a lot of templates here. You can see there are different categories. There something like portfolio and agency technology blog and edit editorial professional services real estate retail so you can simply just maybe go to technology and then you can explore all of these like landing page already developed here so what we need we just need screenshots of these landing pages we don't need to like use any of these i mean again if you want to like give a credit to the original designer but this is just going to be for inspiration we are not going to like replicate it as it is we are actually going to just use these designs as inspiration and if you want to use something on Figma, just go to figma.com slash community and you can find a lot of designs uploaded here free by community. So all of these designs are actually available free to use. So again, we need like a simple image here to like use maybe a screenshot of the entire design to you from here. But yeah, on both Figma and Webflow, you can find a lot of designs. Just explore different options and shortlist whatever you like. Once you finalize whatever design you want to choose, just take screenshot of that entire landing page. You can use something like go full page. This is actually a Chrome extension extension you can download it from chrome web store you can come to this page on chrome web store go full page and then click on add to chrome and then it will be added to chrome after that whatever landing page you shortlisted just take a screenshot of that landing page by clicking on this go full page button i'll simply just click on that and that's it it has just taken a screenshot of this entire landing page i'll simply just download it now and then i'll use any of like maybe chat gpt or deep seek whatever you want to use just use that and then you can ask it to like create a very detailed prompt for you to create this landing page i shortlisted another landing page i just added that into chat gpt i am using gpt01 and then i give this prompt this is a very simple prompt i just mentioned that i want to create a landing page like this please see that as screenshot i want to replicate this entire page exactly as it is i want you to create a very detailed prompt to create this page please add every single detail about this page in the prompt please add all of the details about background colors font style textile and all other details this is just like a simple words you can simply just like use this prompt as it is in your own simple words so after that it has just created this very detailed prompt for me and now next step is actually now we will set up our project first our next next .js project and then after that we'll then copy paste this prompt in there to create this landing page to set up our project we'll be using cursor cursor is an ai code editor make sure you download and install cursor on your computer once it is installed you can simply just open it and this is how it will open for the first time you can simply just click on open a folder next you just need to create an empty folder where you can actually start creating your project so i'll just choose an empty folder i have just created an empty folder i'll click on select folder once your folder is opened inside cursor make sure you can toggle on these buttons on top right to just like have your chatbot here and have your terminal here now we need to set up an empty next.js project so to do that we just go to next.js documentation page next you can simply just open this url which is nextjs.org slash talks go to installation tab and simply just copy this command from here paste that command inside your terminal press enter name your app i'm just going to name it web design pro press enter just choose all of the default options now it will just install dependencies our empty project is created now and all of the dependencies are installed right now you can see our project has our default 
root folder and then it has a parent folder where we actually created that project inside so now what we need to do we need to simply just open this project which is like default root folder as our main folder main project folder because sometimes when we are actually using cursor composer agent so it actually confuses this root folder with that parent folder so it can actually start creating code inside the parent folder instead of root folder so to avoid that confusion you can simply just click on file open folder and then open your main root folder as your main folder so right now i have this root folder i'll just click on select and now our root folder is opened as our main folder and now we can actually run our project and test it run our project i'll just run this command which is npm run dev and then after that press enter and now our project will run locally on our computer all right so when we open this localhost url so you can see our default nexus project is created there is one error but we'll actually deal with that error later on all right next step is i just copied this prompt from here that we created in chat gpd and now we're actually going to provide that image as well that we took that screenshot so i'll just provide that image and now we have got this prompt as well and simply just choose this agent option press on submit and now it should be able to like start creating this running page for us all right so cursor composer is just writing some code just click on accept and it has finished writing all of the code what we need to do is there is this global.css problem so i think this problem should not be a major issue it should still like show our design let's just open our local host page and boom this is it so this has created this basic version of that landing page cool all right so we can actually start customizing from here first let's just remove these global.css errors let me just copy that from here paste that here let's just try to remove that, that global.css all right let's start customizing our landing page let's start with this header section from here in our reference we can see our header looks something like this so we need to just replicate this design as it is and implement that onto our website so what you need to do you need to just take a screenshot of this header section from here and then we need to give that to cursor and ask you to change our header design something like this just take a screenshot copy paste it in please customize the header section please see the attached screenshot and create our header section like this now cursor has made some changing let's just try to refresh our page and see if those changes are implemented and this is what it has created now this looks okay this looks better than what we had already but i think we need uh, this rounded section over here and then we need to like have it separate from that background so let's just ask you to like make, make it round now it has made some changings let's just try to refresh our page and see perfect awesome i like it i think next thing that we need to do we need to simply just add like customize this the color of this get demo page a uh, get a demo home button so we can change that to something else but for now it looks best it looks perfect okay next thing is we can simply just change the color of this hero section now let's just customize this hero section in hero section if you see like there is this image so there is this image we need to simply just copy this image you can create your own image whatever you want to like create just create create your own image and then let's just use that image here you can create anything you can use photoshop for that or use canva or whatever you want to use just create a new image and then we can just copy paste that image over here now actually as you can see there is a inside asset section we need to just add that image inside our assets folder so just go to public and inside public there is this sorry public folder yeah so inside public we need to provide this image the name of this image should be our uh, dashboard mockup.png so cursor composer has actually inside code it is actually referring this image as dashboard dash mockup.png let me just copy that name from there and then let's just rename our image that we just downloaded and then after that let's just use that inside our public folder i have just renamed that image i'll just drag and drop this from here inside our public folder and then let's just try to refresh our page and see if that image has been implemented or not yet okay dashboard mockup png dot web yeah okay so it's a webp image actually so let's just convert that webp image into png so just go to google look for webp to png converter just choose anyone choose a file open that file click on convert now once it is converted just click on download now what we need to do we need to simply just remove that dot png from here and drag and drop that once again and now it should be able to preview that image yeah that's it perfect so yeah so we got that image over here we can actually like resize that and like make it a little bit bigger but yeah i mean we can just like you can do that fine tune details later on you can just like keep asking cursor about these like minor details next let's just ask cursor to like enhance design of our hero section so let me just take a screenshot of our hero section and then ask cursor to like 
enhance it. Please see the attached screenshot. This is our hero section. Just enhance its design, increase its width to make it a full screen hero section. Just click on submit. Now cursor composer is actually going to make some changing for that. And once it is done, then let's just preview what changes it has made. All right, let's go back and perfect. This looks nice. I mean, look at that background gradient, like outer glow that it has added. That glow looks really good actually. It looks really, really good perfect so now this is looking very professional and extremely extremely good for me i mean i can actually use this as my any any product i can use this awesome okay so the rest of the sections you can just like keep improving rest of the sections just keep adding images like this api interface image just go here and there is this api interface image you can just use that in here and then next you can actually ask to improve this design of this section you can just like take a screenshot it has tried to create this kind of like gradient but it is not perfect so you can just like ask so now like next steps are actually more about enhancing that design now the more you spend time on that the better it will now let's just create rest of the pages and this get a demo page so let's just shortlist next of the pages one is that pricing page and another one is this about page so let me just take a screenshot of this pricing page and then let's just give that directly to cursor composer now let's create our pricing page please see the attached screenshot please replicate this design as it is please follow the design guideline and color combinations please make pricing page exactly as it is let me just copy that enter submit and also like let's ask it to like add that pricing page into our header section also once you create the pricing page please add that into our header let me just click on submit and now hopefully it should be able to create a pricing page and then it should be able to like add that pricing page into our header section all right so apparently cursor composer has just created a pricing page for us let me just go back and let me just refresh there is a pricing page awesome this is impressive this is very really nice this is not exactly similar to what we provided it but this is nice really nice actually very really nice even it has created like those user profiles as well and really nice pricing page it has missed that header on the pricing page so let's just ask it to create that header please create header on pricing page just add the similar header that you that we have on the landing page and that's it cursor composer has created this header for our pricing page as well this looks really nice i mean to be honest this is a really nice landing page at least hero section uh we need to like customize rest of the page as well but uh, the pricing page looks really really nice and like fully finished let's just ask you to like customize the header page more please customize the landing page more enhance the design we already have our hero section which is looking really good please enhance all the other sections after hero section enhance the design or right, let's just like try to enhance that let's see what it does i mean we have not provided any specific guideline what what it needs to do but let's just see what it comes up with. So now it's actually, I'll help you enhance the hero section, the sections after the hero section to match high quality design aesthetics. Let's update the sections one by one. Perfect. That's, that's awesome. That's exactly what we need. It has enhanced design of these sections. Let me just refresh. And this looks good actually. This is comparatively better than what we had already. It has now, these sections have these glow. Let's just add this API interface image as well. Let's just go back to our reference design which was here let me just copy this api interface image from here now let's just convert that api interface image to png click on convert let's just download that now we need to change that name to api interface dot png let me just copy that from here change this name to api interface png because it is extension so it is already there let me just track and drop that inside public folder let me just uh, refresh our page our home page let me just refresh. Awesome. Our interface, API interface image is there. Perfect. This looks really nice now. This looks really, really nice. Now let's just create another page. And then after that, let's just create demo page. And I think that's it. So let me just create another page, which is that I think about us page. Let me just take screenshot of this about us page. Or we can just like for now, by now, because actually cursor composer and understand our design. So let's just ask cursor composer to create an about us page without like providing a reference. Let's just see what it does. Now, please create an about us page. Follow that design that we already have created. Also, once you create about us page, add our header. Let's just submit. So cursor composer has created some code for about us page. 
let's just refresh and see on our home page what it has created let me just go to my home page let me just go to pages section let me just go to about page and this looks good this looks all right yeah this looks okay yeah cool perfect i think next let's just create this get a demo page now please create contact us page and link it to get a demo button on head whenever user click on back button user should be able to open that page awesome once you set like your design pattern now it is easier to like build on top of it now you can actually create unlimited number of pages you won't have to guide cursor again and again about what sort of design do you want because now it is going to be super easy for cursor to like now create any design on and like create any number of pages that you want all right so cursor composer has created some code for demo page and let's see what it has created let me just open click on that and now it has created this contact contact us page which is really really nice it has all of this like very nice form it has this section and then like this form is looking like really really impressive and this outer grow and everything is looking really really professional i really love it seriously the kind of design that it has created in this much less time is just impressive so yeah, just like that just create as many pages as you want just create as many designs as you want inside cursor when you start creating a website just make sure that you define your design really well explain that to cursor explain what you exactly you want and then once cursor understand what sort of design you are building for your website after that then you you, you actually can build as much pages and as much like designs as you want for your website this is as easy and as simple as possible i have been using wordpress to create like designs for a while because it was easy and like quick to create websites in wordpress but to create websites using like these kind of ai code editors is like now super easy in wordpress it used to take like a week at least to create a decent website and now in these kind of tools it takes less than like couple of hours to create a very decent and super like amazing website now next step is actually now to publish this website there is a separate video for that i have created an entire video for that that how you can publish your video from cursor to like to a server and then get a url for that and then link that url to a domain name i have created a separate video you can find link to that video in description I see you next video. Bye bye.